This would be my uh, third experience at Bathurst this weekend. I've um, run here previously in the Bathurst Six Hour and at the um, Bathurst Motor Festival in 2015. Um, how did I come to get here? Well, it was my 21st year um, racing cars. Started off uh, when I was very young in Speedway. Went circuit racing, went back to Speedway, and now I'm back circuit racing, um, and that's led me to the Bathurst 12 Hour. Um, with the names, uh, you know, guys like Ingle, Scaife, Lowndes, Wincup, Van Gisberg, and names that I'd only ever dreamed of, of racing alongside. It's, it's literally a dream come true, and gonna, it'll be the highest I'll ever get, realistically. Um, I first came to Bathurst when I was a baby at something like 10 weeks old, something silly, so been coming a lot ever since, and yeah, it was always a dream to do something like this event, and here we are. So it must be a real honour to be on the same entry list as people like Van Gisberg and Wincup, Lowndes, Scaife. We, we shouldn't even be here. <laughs> and honour is, yeah, it's just ridiculous going into the drivers' meetings and scrutineering and everything and you're standing next to Pedro Lamy and factory drivers from Europe and whatnot and it's hard to not wet your pants. good they've been really great they're hands-on all the time they've always got something to do they're hospitable they're looking after us yeah they know what they're doing it's professional it's 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 great Every race car that I've ever driven, you've had to really, really drive the car to get a lap time out of it. Um, you know, throw everything that you possibly can at the car to, to get a lap time. Uh, move the car around a lot on the track. You know, um, the, the mid-engined um, Porsche Cayman that we're driving this weekend, um, you know, on full slicks, you, you just can't do that. Um, you've got to be smooth, precise, um, it's paddle shift, it's left-hand drive, like there, there's nothing you know, that's, that's similar, you know, in this race car that, that we could sort of carry over from anything else that, that, that we've ever driven. But, hey, look, it's a race car, it's a racetrack, you know, we're just doing the best we can. It's in, yeah, into Bathurst, great. On the track, it's, in, it's intense. The guys in the quick cars at the front are in a major hurry. Um, so, yeah, it's just a matter of trying to get on with your job and try and not get in theirs. So six 
16 minutes exactly to go in this session. Finish oh. at 11.50 double O. That is contact between two different classes of car at the Bentley Elbow. To wrap up today is that I was first in the car, had an okay day the, the day before but convinced myself that we we're not too bad and Colby did a fantastic qualifying time and the best thing out of all of it, the three Australian drivers are a little bit quicker than, at the moment, are a little bit quicker than the British drivers but they're coming. Uh, makes the whole weekend exciting because we really just are here to compete against them and stay out of trouble with all the other guys. Yeah, look, I'm um, obviously used to racing with, with Colby, um, re racing against Colby and Lindsay. Um, but off the track, I mean, we're all great mates. And, um, you know, when Colby sort of put this deal together last minute, you know, couldn't think of you know, a better thing to do, you know, go hang out with your mates on the weekend. And on the plus side, go belt a Porsche around one of the best racetracks in, in the world. So far, it's been a great experience. The team's been fantastic. And um, we are looking forward to the early start tomorrow. We need to be here at 4.30. So, um, and then all systems are go. Well, a, a very, very nervous at the moment. Um, we had a pretty good night's sleep last night. Uh, Freya and let, let me get a full night's sleep. Um, very, very, very nervous. I'm not going to lie. Um, you know, we do feel like we are completely out of our depth. Um, but hey, we're here um, with one of Australia's and one of the world's greatest motor races. So, um, you know, it's it's an honour and a privilege to be part of it. And um, hopefully, in 12 hours' time, a um, little more over to our 12 hours' time, um, we're going to be passing a chequered flag um, underneath that bridge there and that's that's our number one goal. This is one of the strongest fields ever assembled at Mount Panorama with a host of champion drivers from Australia and all the way around the world including the current supercars champion, the current world champion of sports car racing and GT racing and more than 30 do make any plans for the rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. Live and free, trackside at the mountain, the 2017 Liquor Molly, Bathurst 12 hours. Well, I think we just got to do every corner and take every corner as it comes and watch the traffic and stay out of trouble and have some luck and hopefully in after a couple of stints each that we look at each other and feel elated but anyway wherever we end up it's been a great experience so far and only the best wishes for Colby and Ash and uh, and all the help that we've had so it's just a really good feeling. Here's a look, spare box different coming off the mountain. Oh, that hit paints hard that car. Amazing starting the race. I feel a bit spoiled this weekend. I've got to do the qualifying run yesterday and start the race today. So, I'm, I'm, yeah, hugely grateful. It's been really good. Um, had a pretty good first lap. 
Um, I think we managed to get up to second place in class on the first lap, past a couple of cars. Um, really happy with the stint. We um, ended up leading the class most of the time. Um, made a bit of a blue eye. We were third in the queue under the safety car and not really paying attention. The Ferrari in front was weaving. I did the same thing and ended up we getting a drive through for it. Um, but we weren't sent an email from race control, so it was a bit of confusion. But yeah, a bit disappointed for the mistake, but overall it's, it's a pretty awesome experience, so I'm stoked. Due to a few different yeah, things, we're, we're currently sixth in class, um, but it's a long way to go, so hopefully we'll, we need a bit of luck, but yeah, it'll be good to make up a few spots, so we'll see how we go. Class leaders, pole position, double winners of this race. Grove Racing in the wall at the top of the mountain. Cars as he tries whoa, to get whoa, whoa. Oh, there's a spin into the other jumping pin. The now Craig Baird needs to slot in here. Then. Yeah, there was off um, one of the uh, restarts there because we're all sort of mixed in with the fast cars. There was a bit of an accident up turn one there and right in front of me and sort of had to head into the dirt and avoid it. So my heart rate got up a little bit there. But um, actually, otherwise, the obviously, when we weren't under safety car, when I was out there, I actually had quite a bit of track to myself. And, um, and you know, getting past with the fast cars, we're also doing a bit of passing ourselves. So we're not quite sure where we're sitting yet, um, position-wise. There you go, 39. You know, I think we started 46, so moving forward, very happy. Away at the mountain, this is why, look at the chase, the Caltex chase. A big drama for one of the Brook Speed Racing Porsche Cayman GT4s, and it's a wheel off the wagon. At the Forest Elvo, I came into there and the Janetta closed me down. I couldn't go down the inside, so I followed him down the straight and thought I'll have a go on the inside. And um, as I turned into the to the apex, the tyre popped. I, I didn't hit the Janetta or anything, but it went into the gravel, and um, it was a pretty wild ride. But um, it's we put tyres and stuff on it, and, and ash has gone out, and there's a gearbox light that's come on. So that's the latest update. That's all I can tell you. Uh, yeah, what's happened is uh, when the tyres let go and the casing has come off the rim, uh, unfortunately it's ripped off the ABS cable. So these cars have ABS and uh, without that cable connected, the computer didn't um, want to play games in the car. So unfortunately, we've had to, Ash has had to come back in, we've had to uh, pull the cable through, solder the wires together and uh, reset the computer and send him back out again. So. Look, these, these guys, this, this crew is very well drilled. They've worked for Martin at Brookspeed for a, a few years now, most of them. And um, it's been really good getting on with them. It's sort of, we, we joke that it's the Ashes, the Aussies versus the, uh, the Brits. But, you know, we're, we're having a great time and uh, they're really, really good to work with. Yeah, look, um, you know, motor racing for me is all about family. Um, you know, obviously this weekend I'd love to be racing, you know, 
with my, you know, in the car with my dad or my brothers. Um, but at the same time, you know, um, I, I love racing with my mates. Um, you know, I can't do this without the support of my family, um, you know, my wife Rhea and, and, and my baby Freya. Um, I can't do that without them and obviously mum and dad and you know all the family back home, you know, they'll be they'll be following me, watching what I'm doing and, and cheering us on, which is great. clamshell hood that this car has, has popped up. We'll step in the hard side, but drama here for the lead car in Plus C. This hour of maximum driver time, it's about four and a half hours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Do not on the wall. No, that's the 55 car. Hi, my name is Adam Zoll from Brookspeed International Motorsport, and I'd like to introduce you to Martin Braybrook, owner of Brookspeed Motorsport. Martin, what can you tell us uh, about Brookspeed? It's a new name to Australian race cars. We've been racing in Europe and uh, America on and off over the last 20 years. Um, this is our first foray into Australia. Something to do with the fact that we've been racing for 20 years and Bathurst is being one of the ultimate goals of any racing team. We're here today with only one hour and two minutes to go out of 12 hours I think. In a young life, um, when I was an apprentice, I worked for Sir Jack Brabham uh, working on his Formula 3 cars after he'd sold the Formula 1 team. This was when he was doing stuff for his son. It's certainly something different to wherever we go. I mean there's wonderful circuits in the world, you know, we do the Spa and I don't know, Brands Hatch Grand Prix circuit, all places like that are absolutely wonderful. But um, it is very, very different going up one side of a mountain and down the other side. And then two long straights just to chase as much as you can. It's really good. So Bathurst is literally your 20th anniversary race and you've taken the decision to sign three Aussies to join three Poms. Well, they were late to the party. Um, we were, we had three Brits coming over and we had uh, people interested in the drive. I think because we hadn't been here before, they were people were considering their options because there's a lot of cars available to drivers. Um, we were very fortunate that Colby emailed me. We started an email communication, and um, from there, um, almost at the last minute, they decided to do it, and it's turned out to be completely to our benefit. Um, we're hoping that we can survive today. There's, they've got temperature issues in Colby's car at the moment. We've asked him to bring it back at uh, driving it at sort of 90% rather than 100% um, because of the ambient temperature, the heat's building up in the car. Um, but all three of them have been absolutely brilliant to work with. It's just those that type of people, I think. And the final corner, 2017, belongs to the 88.
Oh look, um, sort of Colby started fantastically this morning. I um, mean, you know, he got us actually leading the class. Um, you know, putting in amazing lap times. You know, doing really well in the dark. Um, unfortunately, we had a few things go against us, and and to be honest, you know, we were parked in the garage for for five or six laps there, and and we thought, oh god, our day's going to end early, like I said. But um, you know, the guys, you know, hacked away at the car and got us back on the track. Lindsay, unfortunately, had a tie go down. Um, but look, you know, we, we we battled on. We had a battered and bruised car, but that chequered flag at the end of a 12-hour race, there's nothing like it. I mean, I've never 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 felt anything like that before. Mate, I, I, so I'm really, like, speechless, you know, like, the, no, I, I've got nothing, I, I really, really don't. This this whole weekend, it, it just, it, it, it really is everything that you could ever dream of, of being a motor racer, you know, it's, it's just, yeah, it, it really is, and especially racing in, you know, against these calibre guys, so. Massive thanks to mum and dad. Huge thanks to my wife and you know my beautiful daughter Freya. Um, you know, without them, I couldn't do this. Very fortunate. We um, started with a, we were a couple of laps down, really, really early, and it went from from sort of like there and then to worse. And just through the day of just hanging in and doing what we needed to do, we sort of like ended up third. So we're very grateful. Ended up in the sand pit at 250k and lived. Put a new wheel on it and drove off, and it was worked out fine. Oh, look, I'd thank, like to thank Scott and Andy and Elliot for all their work in the shed, and the guys from Juice just to have somewhere good to work. Thanks a lot. It's been an unbelievable weekend, frankly. We got the call up pretty late. Um, didn't know what to expect. Never even sat in a Porsche. Never driven a car on slicks before. Um, so that was all learning, but we all seemed to pick it up pretty well, so it's just been an unbelievable weekend, it's been good. Big thanks to Heyman's Electrical, they've been a big help. Um, Escape Energy, Lighthouse Electrical, Juice Hair Products, Scott's Rods, all the usual guys, so they've been great too. Now look, um, I, think, I think we're going to wrap this interview up there. Now, I know you've, you've only been in Australia for, was it five days, yes. six days yeah. on your first visit? You have had a barbecue every night. So I think I would really like you to sign off in a bit of an Aussie accent, if you could. Well, mate, I think the thing is we're going to be totally stoked if we finish. Cobra? No, I shouldn't say that, should I? But, uh, I don't know what's politically <laughs> correct. but uh, I, reckon, I, I reckon that's a good job. Uh, there is one other point. I think the fact that we will definitely back, be back next year, because I think we haven't enjoyed a race this much in a long while. It's uh, a mixture of really good fun uh, and serious racing. So, and starting in the dark is something else as well. <laughs> anyway, well, you heard it here first, guys. That's probably the first entry for the 2018 Bathurst GT race. Brook Speed is coming back. That'll do. Thank, 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 thanks for coming.